Welcome to the Philadelphia Museum of Art. The first step is two works by Charles Wilson Peale. The trump Loy Staircase Group, showing his sons Raphael and Titian from 1776. The earlier Rachel Weeping was painted in 1795. In John Singleton Copley's 1773 double portrait, Mr. Thomas Mifflin watches his wife thread her loom, and Benjamin West's 1816, Ben Franklin drawing electricity from the sky with the help of cherubs, threads his kite with a key, awaiting a coming storm by Sanford Gifford. Frederick Church sketched the volcano called Pinchincha on a trip to Ecuador in 1857, painting it in New York ten years later. Barn Swallows, painted in 1878 by Eastman Johnson, was followed up a year later by Cranberry Pickers. In 1873, Thomas Moran was one of the first to show the beauty of the Grand Canyon of the Colorado River. Though Randolph Rogers, the Lost Pleiade, seems to be looking off in the wrong direction. Perhaps she is looking at a daring rescue from a shipwreck in the Lifeline, painted by Winslow Homer in 1884, or his A Huntsman and Dogs from 1891. George Innes' laconic summer landscape was painted in 1876. This brings us to the most famous American female painter of her day, Mary Cassatt. Her woman with a pearl necklace in a loge was painted in Paris in 1879. She favored painting women and children as here in her family group reading and a woman and a girl driving. Which brings us to Philadelphia's most famous painter, Thomas Aikens, painted posthumously by his wife Susan. A controversial figure, Aikens never got the recognition he deserved until after his death. Painting in the last quarter of the 19th century, he was fond of full-length portraits. Two of his most famous works are the Agnew Clinic and the Gross Clinic. 